What's going on guys? So today I'm going to do a uh, detailed review of the Rurock Atlas 2.0. Um, I originally vlogged this, but I'm going to have to do a voiceover because my mic was not placed in the right place and uh, basically had a ton of wind noise and you couldn't barely hear what I was saying. So I'm going to show the video footage of me riding with the helmet, obviously. Um, but you're not going to get an actual vlog. This is just going to be a, a voiceover. So um, a few things I want to point out about this helmet are basically I have been riding in this helmet for the past three to four weeks now and uh, <clears throat> I have really thoroughly enjoyed this helmet. I've um, put about 400 plus miles into the helmet and that's what I really wanted to do. I really wanted to do like a detailed ride. I wanted to do like some put down some miles in the helmet. I don't want to just sit in my garage and say like, hey, this helmet's great, you should buy it. So basically, I wanted to put some miles in and give you guys a detailed, like thorough review of what I really think about this helmet. So um, some things right off the bat are this helmet is super light. So this helmet weighs in, I actually weighed it myself on a food scale, it weighs in at two pounds, 15 ounces, which is ridiculously light. So, um, just for comparison, my, my HJC R411 is 3 pounds 3 ounces, so this helmet's actually 4 ounces lighter than my HJC R411. So, <clears throat> if that gives you any kind of inclination of how light this helmet is, it's incredibly light. Um, I will say, for a light helmet, you're going to notice um, some wind noise, um, just some noise inside the helmet. With any light helmet, you're going to have that. Um, and that goes the same with the Atlas 2.0. Um, it's not really a big complaint of mine because I've had light helmets um, for years now and I know that that comes with the territory. Um, so I would say this right around the, the noise level is right around where my HJC R411 is. And a lot of the video I might compare it to my R411 because I think that's a very popular helmet. A lot of people have it and it's a lightweight um, kind of mid mid middle of the range cost helmet and uh, it's very comparable to this helmet so this helmet is actually t300 carbon fiber the entire shell is carbon fiber and that's what makes it really light um so i really can't say much more about the helmet how light it is it's incredible um it, if, if i'm wearing this without my gopro on it it's really like it's not even it's almost like i'm not even wearing a helmet that's how light this thing is so the inside padding, I've actually put on the Atlas 1.0 about a year ago, and I will say the inside padding for the 2.0 is definitely much better than the 1.0. So they've redesigned a little bit of how your head fits in there, and your head sits back into the helmet a little bit more. So that little chin piece right there that you see, um, it's not as close to your nose. People were having issues with that with the 1.0, so I never had that issue in the 400 plus miles that I put in with this helmet. Never had that issue whatsoever. So um, I will say that the Fidlock system, which is the actual what replaces the D-ring, um, is absolutely amazing. I mean, this thing makes it so easy to strap your helmet on, even if you already have like thick gloves, like I wear gauntlet gloves, and uh, it's very easy to just strap the helmet on and go. So I've had instances where I'm riding with a D-ring and I put all my gear on, put my helmet on, and then I realize my D-ring's not secured, and then I gotta take my gloves off. With this, you don't have to do that. So love that part about it. Um, the emergency padding, definitely didn't have to use that, um, but it is a great, great feature. Um, some other things is the visor on this thing feel really good and like when you click it into a certain place it stays right where it should be um, and I like that it can stay barely cracked open so you get a little wind breeze in there um, the ventilation on the helmet already is incredible but it does have where you can if you don't have it fully locked down you can have it barely up like quarter of an inch and you get some great airflow um, now riding in Florida I really haven't had to shut the vent on it um, to cut down on the ventilation because it's the weather right now is just absolutely amazing here it's been in the 70s almost every time I've ridden um, even up to the 80s and I have had no issues with um, 
airflow or ventilation so the helmet's really amazing like I love how they've redesigned it and I love the look of it um, as far as the visor goes it's also really super easy now with a toolless um, visor mechanism so you just pop it off so easy it takes like a couple seconds to do um, so keep going with the positives about this helmet um, in the back I installed the shockwave on mine which is their Bluetooth system and uh, <clears throat> I really like it um, there's a couple things I don't like about it but I will say that the sound on this is as good if not better than my Cena. the sound quality is super good um, never had any issues with the disconnecting or anything like that listen to my music my whole ride um, now I will say the visual of the Bluetooth system on the helmet is flawless like it it looks the helmet looks like it came with this already installed like you can't even tell that it's there that's one thing that I really really like about it it doesn't add to the helmet so now the only thing I didn't like about the shockwave and this has nothing to do with the helmet itself because you can obviously go with different sound systems if you want um, but with the shockwave I found that the buttons are very small um, to turn the volume up and down so when you're not used to it like my first couple times riding with it it was very hard to be able to turn the music down like at a stoplight or something and be able to talk to other riders um, <clears throat> but that's just something that I'm gonna have to get used to um, I'm used to my Cena, which has bigger bigger buttons and bigger knobs so it's a lot easier for me to use that one when I've been using it for years but the shockwave I really do love it um, I'm not gonna put a Cena on this I'm gonna stick with the shockwave because I do love it um, <clears throat> but the buttons are a little small so I wish the buttons either they stuck out a little bit further or they were a little bit bigger around so you could fill them better with like gauntlet gloves on um, now I know not, not everyone that rides on the street is gonna ride with gauntlet gloves so a lot of people are gonna ride with um, you know like thin like mesh gloves and they'll be able to feel it way easier than I can but with my gauntlet gloves they're very thick thick leather and uh, it is a little bit hard to feel um, your volume buttons and your pause buttons so um, other than that the only other gripe I have with the shockwave is that it is not compatible with other sound devices like uh, communication devices so it's not compatible with like Cena or uh, what are the other ones out there. Um, so it's not compatible with that. But apparently from what I've been told is they're working on a either a firmware or a software update where this is going to be compatible eventually with other communication devices. So you will be able to talk to your fellow riders. Because that's one of the things that I've missed out on is Heather and I, we ride together most 99% of the time. And uh, we do chat a little bit here and there, you know, like make plans, like, hey, do we need to stop for gas or whatnot. So that is one thing that was missing. Um, but it's not a deal breaker. If I were going to get this helmet and I did not already have a Cena, I would definitely go with the Shockwave just because it's super clean, super lightweight, and uh, the sound is really excellent on it. So, um, yeah, guys, I've been really enjoying this helmet. Like I said, I've had it um, about a month now. And I've been riding with it every ride, so I've been out on it probably three times or so, and put well over 400, it may be more miles than that, but I know it's well over 400 miles. Um, and I originally wasn't going to install a GoPro mount on this helmet, because I think it just looks it just looks like super clean. I didn't really want to mess up the look of the, the camera, or the helmet I mean. Uh, so I don't want to strap a helmet a camera on there right away but after my first ride I decided that I liked it so much that I went ahead as you can see in the video I went ahead and strapped my GoPro to it and I, that's just you know that this is gonna be one of my new vlogging helmets so um, obviously I already have a helmet that I've had for a while now um, so this was going to be my backup helmet at first because I really do like my other helmet but once I rode in this helmet and felt how lightweight it is and how great the airflow is, this helmet has been with me ever since. So I've been riding in this helmet nonstop since I've got it. And I have not even picked up my other helmet yet. <laughs> so it's feeling a little bit neglected, but that's okay. 
because this baby is brand new and uh, I definitely want to put it through the ringers. I didn't want to, I didn't want to put out a video where I haven't really taken the time to put the miles into the helmet. I don't want to be one of those guys that, that puts out a video just because I got a product and say like, oh, this product's great, you know, just buy it, you know. I wanted to put the miles in, I wanted to put the time in, and uh, so now that I've done that, I really absolutely love it. This helmet is a home run. Like I said, the only thing that I've had issue with is the shockwave, getting used to it, but that's just something that you're gonna have to get used to with any helmet. Like if you have never had a communication device, you're just gonna have to get used to that. Um, but like I said, this helmet has been great. I love it. I love that they send a smoke shield from the factory because in Florida, sunny days, 99% of the time, I'm wearing smoke shield. The only time I'm going to wear a clear shield is um, at night. So, or maybe on a gloomy day. But it does come from the factory with a smoked and a clear visor, which I totally love. Um, I like the pin lock system. I have installed it, but I haven't really had to use it much. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to keep on rocking this helmet. And uh, I may end up doing like a long-term review later on. But for now, I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. Um, these helmets went live on February 27th, two days ago. So, a lot of people are going to be snatching these babies up because they're kind of hot on the market right now brand new product so i would highly suggest you at least go check them out so links below guys i will see you in the next video peace and ride safe